Hi everyone, this is Kim Goyette, your meditation mother, coming to you live from Austin, Texas. So do you need a little extra oomph to get yourself going this year? Why don't we do a class that will give you a little bit of energy, inspiration, and feeling light. So let's get started. Yoga for everybody with Meditation Mother. Let's start on our hands and knees. We'll spread the fingertips out nice and wide. Bring your toes to touch, bring your knees out to the edges of the mat. Open up the knees and we'll sit back towards child's pose. If child's pose is not for you, you can rest your head on a blanket or a pillow. Prop a blanket or a pillow behind your knees wherever you are, get comfortable. We'll be here for a few breaths. Ground the forehead down towards the earth. Relax your elbows all the way down to the ground. Take a deep breath into the back body. Expand. Exhale, soften. We're going to take this moment to honor ourselves where we are at today. So sometimes it's hard to get your engine going, especially at the first of the year. Everything is starting new and you're expected to start fresh and kick it into high gear. So sometimes we need a little bit of motivation to do that. We're just going to honor where we are at at this moment. Take one more deep breath into the back body. And exhale, soften the chest. Come up to hands and knees. We'll push into the hands, curl the toes, bend the knees, keep them bent, lift them off the mat an inch or so, and then shift your hips back. Keep the knees bent. Separate your feet from right to left a little bit. And then push into the hands more. Lift the hips more. Drop the heels down. So we're going to start to circulate some energy and generate some heat into the core throughout this practice. Feel free to rest in child's pose at any time if you need to take a break. So from here, inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale again. And exhale. Let's shift our weight forward to plank. So wiggle those feet back a little bit. Shoulders are over the hand. Draw your belly in and up. Push into the hands. You can even kind of round in between the shoulder blades a little bit. Draw the navel in and up. Bring your right knee to your belly. Draw it in. Push into the hands more. Lift. Good. One more deep breath here and then plant that knee all the way down in center. Take your right hand out to the right and then shift up towards the sky. Good. So we're kneeling on our front shin, really grounding down with that back foot. Lift your low ribs up. Reach the fingertips. Gazing straight ahead or up towards your hand or down at your lower hand, whatever feels best for your neck. And then release all the way down, curl the toes, and sweep that leg all the way back to a down dog. Good. Push into the hands, lift the hips up, open up the hamstrings, maybe pedal the knees out a little bit, bending one knee and then the other. Good. Coming back to center, lift the hips, shift your weight forward into plank. Draw your belly in and up. Push into the hands evenly. Your gaze is at the top of the mat. Draw your left knee into the chest. Push into the hands more. Lift, lift, and then plant that knee all the way down. Take your left hand out wide, and then we're going to shift our weight, kneeling on that left leg. Point the toes out on the right side and reach all the way up towards the sky. Good. Exhale, take it down, and then push and sweep that front leg all the way back, three-legged dog, and then into down dog. Shift your weight forward into plank, a little bit of strength training here. So draw your belly in and up, bend the elbows halfway down. If you want, you can come down onto the knees for kneeling to start, and bend the elbows halfway. And then it's just like a little mini push-up, push back up. Do it one more time, down halfway, turning on the tricep, and then push back up. Take it all the way down onto the belly. 
Bring your hands forward, clasp the hands in front of you, elbows go out to the side, and then feel like your fists are dragging back. Open up the front body, roll the chest open. Shoulder blades go down the back, draw your chin and lengthen through the back of the neck. Good, release all the way down, hands under the shoulders, push back to down dog. Nice, shift your weight forward again into plank. Draw your belly in and up, push into the hand. You got it. So from here, let's tuck that right knee into the chest again. Good. Now you can either plant that knee all the way down or take that foot and cross it across the body. So whatever feels right for you, shift your weight into plank again. So plant that knee if you'd like, and then you can shift your weight into your right hand, turn towards the side. Good, this is pretty intense. Lift the low ribs up. Start to create some of that heat. Good, release all the way down, hug the knee in, sweep it all the way back to down dog, plant the foot. Good, let's try the opposite side. Lift that left leg. Uh oh, actually, nope, shift your weight forward into plank, sorry. Good, hug the left knee into the chest. Either plant the knee or take that foot all the way across. Come to the outer edge of your left toes, turn your body sideways, plant your right foot, push into your grounded hand, lift the low ribs up. Reach, reach, ooh, I'm starting to feel that heat kick in. And release all the way down, sweep that leg back. Plant the foot into down dog. Shift your weight forward. Good, let's try that elbows bent. So let's take it down halfway, any form, whether it's kneeling or full plank, let's try it again. Good, take it all the way down onto your belly, any form. Come up onto the forearms, clasp the hands again. Feel like your elbows are dragging back, open up the belly. Good, from here, push into the forearms and start to keep your legs grounded, but start to lift your low belly up, really engage. Your gaze is down at the mat. Good, draw your belly in. Really engaging and release all the way down, hands under the shoulders. We're gonna come to child's pose for a moment to rest our wrists. I know this is a lot of hand planting. Relax your forehead to the ground. Sweep your hands all the way back behind you so that the backs of the hands are on the mat, palms face up. And then move or drag your hands closer to your knees and you might feel a nice stretch in the top of the wrist. So elbows point back, the back of the hands or the tops of the hands are on the mat, palms face back. Take a few breaths into the back body, opening up the wrist. And then slide the hands all the way forward to hands and knees and press back to down dog. Let's do this again, you got it. So from here, let's shift our weight forward into plank. Good, draw that knee, right knee into the chest. Lift, either plant the shin down in front of you or cross across the way. Shift your weight into your right hand either way and reach. Notice your low reps, see if you can lift them up Really grounding down with the feet. Good, looks great. One more breath here, plant the hands. Sweep the leg through and all the way back to three-legged dog. And plant the foot down. Let's shift our weight to plank again. Great, tuck that left knee into the chest and then across the body or plant the knee, whatever feels best for you. Let's take it to the side, reach. Low ribs lift, excellent. And release all the way down. I'm definitely starting to feel that heat. Sweep the leg back to three-legged dog, plant the foot. Shift your weight forward again. Let's bend the elbows down and up two times. Good, again, keep breathing. Hey, how about one more time for prosperity's sake? Let's do it. One more time, any form. Take it all the way down onto your belly. Come up onto your forearms, clasp the hands, elbows are wide. Press your 
forearms into the mat, start to round and lift the belly like we did before, curl the toes, and you can either stay here in this form or engage your belly and lift up into a forearm plank. Woo! You guys got it. Come on, draw that belly in and up. Create some heat, some motivation, some inspiration for this new year. One more deep breath and release all the way down. All right, hands under the shoulders. Push back to down dog. Whew. Take a breath here. Let's shift the weight forward one more time through. Right knee comes in. And then again, plant the knee if you want or cross it across the body. Turn sideways, lift. Good. Now if you want, you can bring that arm overhead, really stretch, elongate the whole side of the body. One more deep breath here. Plant the hand, knee tucks in, sweep it back to a three-legged dog. And plant the foot to down dog. Shift your weight forward to plank, belly draws in. Hug that knee into the chest, plant it down or cross it across the body. Turn your body sideways, plant that right foot. Sweep the arm overhead if you'd like. One more deep breath here. Sweep the hand down. Three-legged dog all the way back. And then plant the foot. All right, last time through, shift your weight forward. Excellent. Let's bend those elbows down and up. Good, keep breathing. Any form, come down to the knees if you need to. One more time. And then all the way down. Nice and slow. All right, come up onto the forearms, clasp the hands. Start to drag the elbows back, open up the chest, push down into the forearms, lift your low belly, and then curl your toes, lift the legs up if you want. Good, from here we're gonna tap the knees down and up three times, let's do it. One, keep breathing. Two, one more. Three, excellent, slowly lower all the way down. We'll push back to hands and knees, and then to child's pose, hallelujah. Good, you did it. Sweep the hands back behind, palms face up. Notice your heart rate. Keep breathing in through the nose. Release out through the mouth. Good. Chest is soft. Drag the backs of the hands forward so that you can stretch out the tops of the wrists. So when we do a lot of hand plants, we need to counter the stress on the wrist. So definitely stretching out the tops of the wrist would be great. Slide the hands all the way through. And we'll sweep the legs through so you can cross the ankles and then come to seated. Let's take a moment to just rotate the wrists around. You did a lot of work there today. Excellent. Anything that feels good for the wrists. I always like to bring the backs of the hands together and then drop my elbows down. If that feels good for you, you can do that to open up. Good. And then we're going to plant the hands, scoot ourselves forward and come to laying all the way down on our backs. We did a lot of abs work today. Whew, building a lot of heat. Notice the dissipation of the heat. Is it rising? Is it falling? How is it moving? Let's separate the feet. Knees are bent. Feet are out to the edges of the mat. Bring both knees over to the left. So we're gonna open up the abdomen a little with some twists. You can have your arms out to the side if that feels good, palms face up. Legs are very heavy. Take a moment, notice your right hip and start to activate that right glute forwards, opening up the hip flexor and the quad so we're moving it forward towards me. Opening up that back leg. Good, one more deep breath into the front body. And relax, soften that glute. Let's bring both feet flat on the mat, knees point up to the sky again. And this time we'll keep the feet wide, allow the knees to fall to the right. Just relaxing the body into a gentle twist. 
chest is softening. And then start to activate that left glute. Move it forward so that you open up your hip flexor, the front of the left quad. Nice big opening in the front body. One more deep breath here. And then relax your efforts. Good. Bring the knees back up towards center. Lengthen the legs down below you really wide out to the corners or off the mat even. Let's take, let's leave the left foot where it is, but bring the right leg alongside the left leg. So it's actually starting to make a C shape towards the left. Take your left hand, reach it down more towards your left toes and bring your right shoulder blade up higher. So you're making a C or banana shape with the body. You can keep your arms where they are, or if you'd like, you can take your right arm and reach it overhead. If you want a little bit more sensation, take your right foot, cross it over your left ankle, and you might feel a nice opening in the hip as well. From the right foot, inhale all the way up the right side body to the fingertips and hold. Exhale out the mouth, release. Do it again, inhale. And exhale. Last breath, inhale, and exhale, release that right arm all the way down, so we're starting to cool off a little bit, uncross the ankles, separate those feet nice and wide, shift your hips back to center. This time we'll take that left leg and we're going to bring it alongside the right leg, making a C shape towards the right. Drop your right hand down, left shoulder blade up. You can. Sweep that left arm overhead if you'd like, and then if you want, cross the left ankle over the right. Opening up the abs, the side body, the ribs. From your left foot, run that breath all the way up the left side body to your fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, soften, let go. Do it again two more times on your own. Last one. Good, relax the hands all the way down. Center your shoulder blades, uncross the ankles. Lengthen the legs and center the hips. Flip your palms to face up, gently close the eyes. We have arrived here in this moment. And just notice all the energy you created. Allow this time to absorb the beautiful movement within the body, the inspiration and fire that you need in order to move forward in this beautiful year. Let's take one more deep breath here, recognizing all the energy we created. Exhale out the mouth, hug the knees into the chest, rock from side to side, give your low back a little massage, and then we'll roll all the way over to one side and make our way up to seated. Excellent job. That was a hard practice, but sometimes we need a little bit of steam in order to push us over the hump. I get stuck sometimes right here and I need a little bit of oomph to push me over the edge and get myself rolling again. So hopefully that practice helped you. We're going to finish with a little bit of breath work. You can relax your hands in your lap or on your knees. We're just going to do a nice long breath. We're going to inhale from our seat all the way up to the crown of the head and then we're going to hold for as long as we is comfortable and then we'll release it down. If holding when I'm counting is not comfortable for you, just release whenever you want. You can do it at your own pace. So let's get started closing the eyes. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. We'll start to invite the breath in more fully through the nose. Inhaling and then exhaling out the mouth. Really letting go. Good. As we inhale, we're inviting in, visualizing all the inspiration, 
creation that the universe provides. And on an exhale, just letting go of any roadblocks, stagnant energy, whatever no longer serves you. From your seat all the way up to the crown of the head, inhale, hold, 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 big exhale out the mouth. Release, let go. Inhale through the nose. Hold, 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 big exhale, relax the shoulders. Good. Let's do it again. Inhale. Hold, 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 hold. Exhale, release. Again, go at your own pace if you need to. Inhale all the way from your seat to the crown of the head. Hold, 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 and exhale. Let's bring the hands to heart center. Surrender your thinking mind to your feeling heart. Open up your inspiration, your exploration, your playfulness your motivation, all these things that we need in order to move forward and make this a beautiful year. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm Kim Goyette, your meditation mother. And if you like this video and you want to be the first to receive weekly videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Yoga with Meditation Mother. And I have another free surprise for you. If you need to continue to be inspired this year, I put out a meditation on Insight Timer, which is a free app you can download. And it's called What Can I Become? It lets you dream really big. So enjoy. See you next time.